Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. If you remember on the last episode, we unlocked Eve, so now we finally have another secret character. Let's take a look at her stats. She starts with one heart, that might actually be two hearts, three speed and one damage. So not the strongest player right out of the gate. I gotta admit, this is the first time I'm actually playing as her right now. Two hearts, okay, that's not so bad. I can make that work. She's, she's working like a, a cane type character right now. Now she has two items, which apparently uh, you do not get by default, which surprises me, I thought you did. One of them is called the Dead Bird, and the other one is called the Whore of Babylon. Hopefully we'll come across those soon. She also starts with no bombs, no keys, and no money, which I suppose can make it a little bit difficult to get into some of these early rooms. Plus she looks like an emo retard in this sprite here, at least from that angle. I'm not saying I wouldn't hit it, I'm just saying from this angle, it looks like she needs to go to a hairdresser. Damn. Bald guy telling a telling a young girl to go to a hairdresser. What can I say? I'm getting old. Here. A couple flies, a couple hosts. I don't think the first few levels are gonna be a problem, even though I'm still getting used to this character. Uh, but we'll see. You know, anything could happen in these videos. This is gonna be probably the last secret character we will ever see in the binding of Isaac. I I can't say this with any kind of authority, but I'd be surprised if there was any more DLC for this game. And for the people complaining that there were glitches in the DLC for this, please remember this is a $5 game that got some free DLC, so you, know, you should be ashamed of yourselves for complaining about a few bug bugs in the final product that were fixed literally the next day. Uh, let's check out the item room here. What do we have? The relic! Well, that's a fantastic item. What the relic does is causes us to get a spirit heart, I think, every four rooms. I think every four rooms. Now there's a chest in here I could get to. But I don't want to see if there's any tinted rocks. I would rather get those first. Take out these hoppers. Hopefully I can get brimstone again in this video like I'm torn. Do I want brimstone? I think it gives me the best chance of success. Mm, you know what? I'm going to use this bomb to get to that key. I wonder if I can put a bomb like right here and maybe get to the secret room as well. Advanced Isaac strategy. Oh, look at that! What did I tell you? Three cents. Um, and let's use another bomb to open up this chest over here and see what's in that. Like, on the one hand, I want to get brimstone because it's so good, but I also uh, ah, an extra key. I also don't want to get brimstone because it, it wouldn't be very much variety compared to what I uh, what I've shown in the last few videos because I've had brimstone in each of those. So I guess the the main negative point with Eve here is that. Her uh, starting damage is fucking terrible. Uh, I can't seem to do very much damage. Hey, we got a bird there! So every time I get hit, it, it drops a bird, maybe? And what is the bird doing? Is it like Meat Boy? Is that it, is it cutting the dude up? It is! Excellent. Whoa! Watch out. Well, that's not so bad, then. I guess that makes up for her low starting damage. Maybe I, if I get hit on a room, it causes that bird to spawn? It's not so bad. I still gotta figure out how to use it properly. Did you see that dodge there? That's how you know you've played too much Isaac and you can make that dodge reliably. Well, thanks a lot Mr. Dead Bird. I got my cube of meat, now let's go down to the next level. Do you follow me around forever? Sadly, no. Okay. So we gotta really pull these headless motherfuckers. You never figure out how you kill them in one shot. Do you guys the last shot has to land on the body or something? Otherwise they just split for me. Well, nobody split there. Except me. I'm splitting right now. This room. Ah, a bunch of laser bullet flies. Not a problem. Only two laser bullet flies, in fact. Not a bunch. What's the minimum number to qualify for a bunch? I would say, you know, maybe five. Maybe four. If you got a bunch of four bananas, you'd be like, this is a bunch of bananas. If you got a bunch of three bananas, you'd be like, give me my money back. How am I going to get enough potassium to survive the week? More dead. Hopefully this champion drops a bomb, because that's what I'm short on right now. Well, a key. A key is fine, too. There's the shop, and hey, there's one of our spirit hearts. A couple of these blast assist worms. Not going to be too much of a problem, I hope. I wonder if I've ever been hit by these things. Uh, when they're not in that, like, blast assist state where they can actually shoot you. If so, I apologize retroactively for my former self. Let's 
continue up here because obviously we want to go to the item room. No spacebar item right now. Hmm? Three cents, which I could get to if I had a bomb, which I don't. So we'll continue on here. Oh, these guys We've got a good choke point here to take these guys out. But unfortunately, I can't seem to take them out all at one time. Oh, maybe it's the ones with the bloody eyes you can't kill in one shot. He says as he kills one in one shot. And by that I just mean, like, severing the head and killing the body simultaneously. Let's go through here, murder this guy. Get another key. I'm key rich right now. Oh, these guys can be kind of a pain. Oh, there we go. Get hit one time and the bird comes out. Do some attacking, please. You're reminding me a little too much of the meat boy I didn't like when he helped me get defeated by mom. Hey, little chubby. It's been a while since I had little chubby. But now they got pills for that. So if you remember, he will uh, kind of take a little ride on some of my uh, my tears. So oh, so I gotta make sure I'm aiming in the right spot, and then shoot him, and he'll he'll usually take things out pretty quickly, as you can see right there. I'm not sure if he works as a piercing shot. I think he actually bounces off things, but we'll see soon enough, won't we? I'm just doing a little bit more exploring here because I want to make sure that if there are bombs, I get to them. So we'll just continue firing at Sloth here. Ah, the buff diverted little chubby. Damn it! There we go, should be dead. One more hit. Hey, Bob's Rotten Head, that's a pretty good, pretty good item. I can use that as a bomb. But I'll probably not use it to try to find the secret room here. Instead, I'll use it as a... on the boss. Some more spirit hearts, which is good, because I don't have a lot of starting health. And, oh, that's not where I want to go. Let's just go fight the boss now. Who's hopefully a horseman, but I'm not sure it even can be a horseman. There might only be one horseman famine that can even spawn in the basement. So, here we go to the boss room. Larry Jr., not even a champion version of Larry Jr. Let's get Bob's rod in head and get ready to throw it. Hey, stop! Get away from me! Oh! That was a terrible throw. I could I could not have done worse with that. Oh man, little Chubb just wrecked Larry Jr. right there. And it is deep not piercing. Gets stuck on the poop all the time. There we go. There's one Larry Jr. dead. One more Chubb shot. Sounds like I'm trying to hit him in the dick. One more Chubb shot, Larry Jr. will be dead. And I am in very little risk right here. And excellent. Some range up. Kind of useful, I suppose. An opportunity to make a deal with the devil. Uh, but not really, because I w don't want to give up any of my hearts for this. What happens if I give up three spirit hearts for the Book of Belial? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. I don't have three spirit hearts to give. Only one and a half. Oh, okay, this is a problem. Fuck. I, th I thought I could get out of there. Uh, I'm just running over on, on top of the... On top of the ooze that the thing left behind. Okay, this is this is a tricky room. I'm not gonna make light of this situation here. So now let's just take this guy out. Come on, Chubb. Chubb, I was really hoping that you would take him out in one hit. You're doing me dirty here. Is it just me or is the relic not dropping spirit hearts as fast as I would like? I'm actually losing health. It's a shame considering I'm so early on the caves. Maybe I can actually get the cave boy achievement this time. Unlikely. It's possible. Let's see what we got here on pills. Range up. Alright. I'm gonna have fantastic range. Terrible damage still, but fantastic range. Oh god, I, I didn't realize I was gonna get trapped in here. Well, there's another spirit heart for me, which is good. Let's continue on here. I wonder what that Whore of Babylon item does. Uh, I have no idea. Let's use the Bob's Rotten Head right away. Save us a little bit of time. But overall, Envy is going to be a fucking pain in the ass because I do so little damage. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm taking a lot of damage as well, so there's the, the bird. Now, if they could just actually do some damage, that would be fantastic for me. It looks like Little Chubb's doing alright. Ah, and there, the bird's starting to pull its own weight. It's about fucking time. Live bomb, pill, pill actually hurt me. 
not what I wanted at all. We'll continue onwards here. I am not liking Eve so far. But yeah, I, I have made mistakes in the past. Remember I said I thought Maggie was like by far the most useless character in the game? Look at me now. I use her every time I need to get something done for sure. Hard I can't use. I can go to the shop, but it's not really necessary at this point. Might as well pick up this money. Almost got damaged there. That would have been stupid as hell. Even more money. 13 cents is almost enough to go to the shop. If only I had some bombs. Oh, let's go check it. I can't even go check out the mob trap room. If only I had some bombs so I could get to the secret room and almost guarantee myself some more money. I digress. Let's continue in here. This room shouldn't be too bad. I was kind of hoping Little Chubb was going to kill those guys in one shot, but unfortunately, that is not the case. I'm just I'm trying to get like my my one shotting going with, with Chubb, but just continually missing with him over and over. I think Chubb might actually be either my favorite or my second favorite guy to follow you around. I really like Gish as well. Gish's slowing shots are fantastic. Oh, so I'm already down to one heart. Oh, bird almost fucked me up there. Get that heart so we can continue to have some health. On here, take out these silkworms. These are the stupid silkworms, but apparently they take about 17 shots to take out with my default damage here, which is unbelievably bad. I can't believe I missed that shot on that silkworm. I need I need to be more overpowered. I'm not getting enough enough good stuff here. It's like Kane minus the luck foot. What do we have here? Oh, the yum heart. Now nah, I'm gonna stick with Bob's rotten head. Hopefully it's a decision I don't regret. Although that is a decision I absolutely regret. Why did I use Bob's Rotten Head to take out those two easy enemies rather than using it on this boss? Ah, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't have been that useful on Fistula anyway, but still. Poor decision on my part. Hey, 16 cents, I can go to the shop. And I, I will go to the shop, in fact. Oh, lord. I will go to the shop because there's a battery or a good space bar item. I want to make sure I get it. So, Chubb's doing pretty good for me right now. But I am taking some damage. But on the bright side, that means the bird spawns. It's gonna do some stuff. Hopefully. Take out some enemies. Any day now. There we go. And hey. Spirit Heart and Speed Up. Exactly what I needed. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about the shop. We'll get it on the next floor. Better to not look in. Hey, there's the shop right there. Why didn't I go to it right off the bat? Because I was distracting myself talking about the shop I just missed. Oh, really poor play for me so far on this second caves level. I need, to, I need to supercharge this relic. It needs to be dropping spirit hearts way faster. Alright, there's some money. Let's go back up here to the shop. Map? Um, yeah, I guess I will pick up the map. Not my favorite item to get right off the bat, but that's okay. At least now we know where the secret room is. Oh god! Too many Gishi. Gishai. It was a bad room, but at least I got my health back. I can go gamble a little bit in here. Don't do me dirty here. I don't need your heart. I can't even really blow you up. You're pretty goddamn lucky, I'm not gonna lie. So we'll use Bob's Rotten Head on this room. Oh man, this is a potentially difficult room for me here. We use Bob's Rod in the head here because we want to uh, make sure we go to the secret room. So we, we can use Bob's Rod in head as a bomb. Oh, I still gotta unlock the parasite item as well by getting two dead items in one playthrough. He was hoping we can, we can do that. I think that's the last secret I, I haven't found. Unless they've added more in the Halloween update. So let's just toss it. I wonder, can I throw this without hitting myself? Alright, that worked. So bad, nine cents. We'll come out here, I can get to this tarot card now. The Hermit, which I, I can never remember the Hermit. I think it takes you back to the spawn room. Uh, well, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I guess <laughs> that's Eve's other item, is when you get taken down to one spirit heart. What a horrible night to have a curse, like Castlevania 2 reference. And it seems like you do a lot more damage after that. Uh, but I've still got to be super careful here. Well, I suppose that's one way to do things. 
Thank God I got that spirit heart. Oh, so now I have kind of like a damage buffer in that spirit heart. But I'm also doing increased damage due to being a demon, so I might just like stick it out as a demon. That's pretty cool. I wish I had a bomb here. Oh, I, okay, I'm starting to, I think I understand how this works now. Maybe your strategy with Eve is that you should always be on half a heart and just be as spirit hearty as possible. There's right, the bomb. Or the boss. Oh god. I, I still can't really afford to take any damage. Unless I get another spirit heart right off the bat. Nice running by this guy. Again, he's a, he's a champion dodger himself. There's another key. I don't want a key. I want a bomb. Uh, who are we fighting here, please? Pestilence? Well, it's been a while since I fought Pestilence. Maybe, uh... Oh, shit. I'm trapped in the corner. Maybe I can take it out without getting hit. And if I do, good reward in getting a Meat Boy anyway. And remember, you can't reroll cubes of meat, so my D6 is not going to help me out there. But that's okay. I, I probably wouldn't even want to reroll cubes of meat. They don't roll very well. They're, the cube boy. God damn it. I, I'm trying to hit Pestilence with my little chub here. There we go. Good words to live by. Never put your little chub in crazy. Ah, nice diagonal shot on chub there. Now Pestilence shouldn't be so bad. I'm hoping at least. Excellent. He's taken down. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna get that half heart because I want to stay in my demon state here. What do I want to do now? Let's just go down to the next floor. I don't think there's anything else to see here, really. Hopefully the map will allow me to get where I want to go quickly. Yeah, we'll go this way right off the bat. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Get out of there! I said get out of there! This is the opposite of getting out of there. You're getting more in there. Please drop a spirit heart. No, I think I gotta go one more room before I get that spirit heart back. Jesus Christ. Ah! I killed by a fucking fly! Alright, let's play another one. As Eve, just because that was poor. I'm still getting used to the character. That must be the Whore of Babylon. Now that I know what the Whore of Babylon does, maybe I can do a little bit better. Hopefully get some better drops as well. The Relic, I guess, is a really good item to have in conjunction with Eve. Obviously, I've got to beat the game with Eve. Got to get that Golden God 100% achievement. Let's focus on... I guess I'll focus on not taking damage for now. This is two possible strategies. One of them is get a lot of damage up upgrades. Uh, let's use a bomb here. Get this key. And use a bomb here to get to this chest. Hopefully, it's not wasting it. Uh, range up. Something at the very least. Um, yes, two strategies. One is obviously be in that demon state. The other one is get a lot of damage up so you can actually do some damage with your default weapon. Otherwise, like, look at, look, it takes me like six hits to take out these guys. The champion, I don't even want to think about it. Why did I let myself get in that terrible state? Could have easily prevented that. I like having the bird around though, that's pretty cool. What do we have here? Poison touch? Well, that's good. Unfortunately, I'm trying not to get hit by people, so that might not come in that handy. Uh, where There's so many opportunities for where the secret room is here. I'm just going to ignore it, and we'll go on and fight the boss. Who is going to be, hopefully someone easy, maybe Monstro. Duke of Flies. Uh, Champion Duke of Flies is actually kind of tricky. Let's hit him with a bomb. Yeah, that, that usually... Uh, messes him up right off the bat. One bomb on the Duke of Flies is a fair trade for me, because it means I don't have to deal with his bullshit over and over. And by his bullshit, I mean him spawning, like, a constant halo of flies around him that makes it impossible to hit the actual boss. Grandfather Fly dead. Hey, HP up. That's fine by me. It means we can maybe make a deal with the devil, remember, which is important. If I can make a deal with the devil, even if it leaves me at, like, one heart, get the nail, and then after getting the nail, uh, just like spam spirit hearts, stay in the demon state constantly. So you gotta use some, uh, I guess, advanced strategy to play as Eve. It's certainly not gonna be an easy beat, like uh, like beating the game with with Kane or uh, or Maggie or Isaac was. Even even Blue Baby, maybe. Well, Blue Baby was kind of tough. I don't wanna. Yeah, Bird, you take him out. I don't wanna belittle beating the game with Blue Baby. I can't even do anything in this room. What about over here. 
some of these guys. Oh! So I guess that's my next quest, beating the game with, with Eve. This is going to be pretty difficult, I think. He says, maybe not knowing that this is the run where he beats him. Uh, you guys more, know more than I know at this point. Mm, don't really need to blow up the blood bank. We'll just continue onwards in here. Could really use something good from the item room, but first I need a key. Whoa. Without a, without a key, this is all moot. Let's make sure we take out these guys. Probably get the champions out of the way so I can see if they are going to drop some keys. But apparently they take 100 shots to die. Okay, one cent and a half heart. Thank you, but that's not what I need. I guess I've really got to be on the lookout for tinted rocks as well. And well, back to full health. Shame I can't go to the item room because it's exactly where I need to be. So quick flies, aren't they? That's why I need the bird around constantly. Birds eat flies. QED. Excellent. Check out what we got here. Hey, the relic. Okay. Not a lot of variety, but that is probably the most important item I could possibly have right now. Now focus on not getting hit so you can build up a shit ton of spirit hearts. That's not the secret room? It's got to be down here then. Probably shouldn't be wasting my bombs, but eh, whatever. Three cents? That's that's dick luck right there. That's not even shit luck. That's dick luck. Okay. Bunch of these floating heads. Not so bad. This room sometimes have a, has a tinted rock in it, but I can't see right now. No, no tinted rock. Well, that's good, because I wouldn't want to think about the bomb that I just wasted trying to get to the secret room. Finally, this is use our range advantage on this guy. Well, hey, I mentioned keys, I get keys. I mentioned bombs, I get bombs. There's a shop, but I don't want to go to that. Look at how long these fucking blast assist worms take to take out. They take like three or four shots each. Eve's default damage is so bad. Eh, come on. Hey, there's a spirit heart. Excellent. And remember to beat the game. Like, it's, it's no longer just a matter of beating Mom's heart. I actually have to defeat Satan now, I'm pretty sure, uh, in order to get the achievement for beating the game. In fact, I might have to go beat the game with uh, Cain, Isaac, and Judas all over again. And sadly, Blue Baby, I didn't even think about that. God damn it. Alright. So we got plenty of things to do over the course of this Let's Play. Oh, oh come on! How did I take damage there? I have no perspective on these bullets. I thought I was running under it. Well, at least that means the bird gets a chance to take it out. Nibble away on that juicy little monstro puff there. Maybe I'll get a chance to get some good items here. What, what would I want? I guess I would want the nail. Uh, speed up? That's nothing. What does the devil have for me? Money equals power? Yeah, I'm definitely going to take money equals power, actually, because... This way, if I amass some money, I can actually do some more default damage. I guess it's not really default damage anymore, but uh, damage nonetheless. So now I'm going to be focusing on just building up as much money as I can. Hey, there's a tinted rock there. Maybe give me some spirit hearts. Maybe I can go into the demon state earlier rather than later. Please. Thank you. Blow up the TNT. Chest I can't even open. Times two. Fantastic. Get out of here. Hosts, I need thank you. Please drop all of the money that you've ever had. Item room. Oh, man. I need a lot of keys right now. A lot of keys is Alicia Key's sister. Not nearly as... Come on! Not nearly as successful. Let's rush in there. Can't believe I didn't take damage there again. Oh, okay, well, that's what I get, I guess. Lost my spirit heart already, so much for going into the demon state. Please give me some money. Well, okay. I can't fault you for that. You did give me some money. Let's come up here. Oh! Little uh, miniature champion fistula. So these should spawn bomb flies, or, well, laser flies. Same difference, really. Yeah, bomb and laser flies, okay. Really got to get to that heart. Probably should have saved that until I saw if I was going to die. Or if I was going to get hit anymore on this room. That's okay. Bird, can you just eat that bomb for me? Thanks, man. 
All right, this is uh, as easy as easy or as easy as rooms can be in this game. But unfortunately, they take forever with the order here. Come on. I think I might be getting a spirit heart on this room as well, which is good for me. So far, uh, money equals power is, has been totally useless for me. I need to get over ten cents before I start getting damage upgrades, and then you get one one point of damage for every ten cents you get. We're getting there. At least one of these guys following me. Not so bad. I can deal with that. Please drop a key. Look at all the items on my map right now that need keys. There are five things that I count that could use keys. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, get them all on this choke point here. You too, buddy. It take a thousand years to get down to the point where you go to the ooze. Well, there's two spirit hearts, so I will definitely use some bombs to get through here. And what does this pill do? Speed down. So useful. And I guess actually my strategy should be take damage on my hearts before getting the spirit hearts. That way I'll still have spirit hearts. Like three spirit hearts. As well as be in the demon state, so I'll be protected by my spirit hearts. At least that's that's my thinking, but I'm taking way too much damage here to make this applicable. Right, so we got one key. You got one key, where do you use it? Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a gameplay. Uh, I suppose we'll go down to the item room. That's the best sure thing, especially considering I don't even have a spacebar item right now, so anything is better than nothing. Probably not going to be the next title of the James Bond movie. Everything's better than nothing. Door here. Yum heart. Almost counterintuitive when you consider my goals right now. But, uh, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. It is better than nothing in case I get stuck in a really difficult situation. Let's go fight whoever the boss is here. Maybe it's Chubb and I can feed him one of these bombs, make my, my life a little bit easier. Or maybe not. Hey, Gertie! My least favorite mega bitch. Come on, okay, now now I've got it. Once you get the oh, once you get those nubs killed. Let's get the bird in here as well. Oh god, stupid, stupid damage. Bird, just eat the shit out of Gertie, please. Or the grandfather fly, really either of those. Thank you. Consume! Where's my bird? Is it inside of Gertie? Get out of there! I'm never gonna get the smell out. Bird! Seriously, buddy, you're doing nothing for me here. Um, I might as well just take like one more hit of damage so I can get to my demon state. The, the colloquial... There we go, what a horrible night to have a curse. Hammer away at it. And then, when things look dire, use your yum heart. Greatest strategy on earth. Even still, I'm doing like as much damage as like my average Kane runs, or average Judas runs. Overall, I think the Book of Belial is definitely preferable to this. But you know, maybe I just haven't found the right strategy yet. Spirit Heart, HP up, Yum Heart, well now I'm doing okay. I suppose it looked like I stayed as a demon there, so I probably could have used my Yum Heart after getting down to half health uh, and still maintained my demon state gonna be a terrible room. Like the thing, I, I'm a big fan of characters that, that do a lot of damage because for the most part I'm usually okay, believe it or not, with not taking damage or not taking very much damage. That's why I like playing as Judas a lot of the time, but I hate characters who take a hundred years to clear through a room and Eve is absolutely one of those characters. Look at this, I, I've taken out one enemy, I've been firing for like 10 minutes. Part of that is the layout of this room, actually, as well, but still. And I finally murder one of these things. I'm doing like one point of damage every time they come up. There we go, almost done. Yeah, just one more silkworm. I don't think uh, Eve is a good candidate for a speed run. Uh, maybe if you get down to half a heart right off the bat and then never take damage for the rest of the game. I hope I have just planted a terrible idea in someone's mind.
Leonardo DiCaprio style. Now, up. Oh. Fucking hosts, man. I'm just not playing very well at the moment either. As you can see by the terrible dodges I'm making. Especially after saying that I'm, uh. I'm actually pretty good at not taking damage sometimes. Half heart that I can't really get to. I mean, I can, but I don't really want to because I'm so bomb poor right now. I could really use that money though. This could be a tricky room. Again, I need some keys. Seems like I'm always needing keys in this video. Well, actually, no, in the last one, I had, I had way too many keys. I needed bombs. Shit, taking dumb damage. I don't hold out a lot of hope for this Eve run. I'm gonna have to do some practice, and maybe I'll, I'll come back. Slay the game with her. Hmm. Oh, just a couple of hosts. That's not so bad. Well, actually, it is kind of a pain in the ass, because they take 45 minutes to take out. And I already lost half of my spirit heart. We'll probably lose another half very soon. This is quickly becoming a very frustrating, if not prophetic, run for me. I just gotta get in the demon state right off the bat and roll with it. I'm not even gonna use my Yelmart. I'm gonna try to... Oh god, the pill turned me into a demon with bad trip. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, now let's just try not to take damage. I'm just sick of these rooms taking a hundred years. And hopefully the relic will drop a spirit heart soon, and then everything will be okay. Well, it's a tough room to get right off the bat. God damn it. Well, <sighs> that's Eve. Initial verdicts. Don't like her so much, but maybe she'll grow on me. Like a fungus. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any tips for playing as Eve, because right now I am not in a good position with her. As always, I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching. See you later.